This turbo is capable of making over 1,500 horsepower. going on guys we are starting off a video this is a unfamiliar place if you've been watching every video you might have seen this in the background of some videos but there is a lot of crazy announcements going on uh, first I would like to say today is gonna be the last day to enter to win the Whipple S550 some of you are gonna be glad that I won't be talking about it anymore but today is gonna be the last day to go enter we are doing 10 times entries on OG shirts and virtual stickers definitely get down in the description mustinglifestyle.net get entered to win that car and pick up some cool merchandise. It helps support the channel and we have been doing so many crazy things lately and uh, it really helps out and it's been a really stressful time but we are getting close to the end, well very close to the end. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys an update video. This is not gonna be an action packed video but there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm not gonna fill you guys completely in but you guys can kind of guess by the under construction um, that is going on here and uh, yeah. We, we got some big changes coming. So, so you're probably clicking on this video because you saw a big freaking turbo. And I am very excited to announce that we are gonna be working with Garrett Turbo and we got this big, uh, did I say big, big turbo right next to me. So right here is the Garrett Turbo 76 millimeter GTX Gen 2 Turbo. The exact part number is the GTX 5020R Gen 2 76. It's a T6. This thing is absolutely massive. It looks beautiful and you might be wondering what are we going to be using this bad boy on. Now this turbo is capable of making over 1500 horsepower on an engine dyno which that is obviously you know through a different engine and stuff but we are looking to make somewhere around a thousand to twelve hundred wheel horsepower with this turbo now what are we going to use this for is it the flat plane 52 voodoo that we drove over here daily driver status is it the extremely dusty gt500 5.8 liter that makes 1300 wheel horsepower it is not we are keeping the blower on this uh, for the meantime, ignore the dustiness. Uh, this is the only place to keep this car right now, um, being that we have it somewhat taken apart. Uh, not a huge deal over there. We'll get into that in a little bit, but it did get pretty dusty in here from the obvious install. Or is the turbo for our Grom, our 2020 Grom, that some of you guys don't know we have? Is the turbo for the Coyote Swapped Terminator? It is not. We have a blower coming for this one. Ah uh, yes, the turbo bullet. Ignore the wheels that it is on because obviously uh, these are just there. Uh, this car is currently a roller and you know we are staying true to the turbo bullet name. Uh, we are currently getting a fully built 4.6 two valve uh, with a texted block, some ported heads, cams. Uh, I think we might stay with the stock bullet intake for now but uh, this car is going to be very, very quick. That turbo is gonna go on here. We're looking for somewhere around 1,000 to 1,200 wheel horsepower. We have a built 6R80 going in this. Uh, we got a lot of parts. We still gotta figure out a lot of different things, including the turbo kit. Uh, that's a T6 housing on that Garrett turbo. And uh, we're gonna have to kind of figure out what we wanna do and how we wanna do it with this car. But this car is going to completely transform um, into a very, very quick uh, race car. So we did rob the front runners off of it uh, to put on the Cobra over there. But we do have a set of beadlocks for this car. Here we have our weld beadlocks. These are for the bullet. Uh, we uh, will be going with a radial uh, for that car and I am very, very excited to really transform it. Um, the only reason this car is outside is because of the lift install and everything going on. So this poor car uh, is dirty and uh, obviously sitting with no engine or trans in it, but we are gonna be doing the 6R80 swap in it with a converter and we are also gonna be doing the built motor with the turbo kit. So we do have to figure out how exactly we're gonna do the turbo kit. I think we're still gonna keep it bumper exit. Um, that's really the most efficient way. Um, I was thinking about a hood exit, but I think we should stick with the bumper exit as long as we have enough clearance. 
but we do have to figure out what turbo kit we're doing. I do believe we're gonna go a standalone uh, system. Well, we, we're definitely doing a standalone system, but uh, we are doing a quick six on the 6R80, and then we are also gonna go with a, probably a Holly setup. Um, we haven't totally gotten that, but I do have a bunch of parts for this. I have a full return style fuel system, good for well over a thousand wheel horsepower. Um, so we are gonna be working with some different companies and really getting the bullet built on the way. So I just gave you an update on a bunch of the cars. 350R, running awesome. The Coyote Swap Terminator, running awesome as well. Uh, I do have a new set of rotors and pads for it. We do have a cracked rotor on it. That's why I haven't been driving it. Haven't gotten a chance to get in and here because we have so many things going on, but I just need to do a set of brakes on the Terminator Cobra, and then we will be going back at it. I think we might have a chance at spraying it into the nine, so I'm kind of excited to give that a try out. Uh, the GT500 has been making me pull my hair out of the head. Uh, we took the alternator out. There was an issue with uh, something over here next to the battery. I pulled the alternator out, sent it out to Nations to see if uh, there was an issue with the alternator. There isn't, uh, so we probably have a wiring issue with this thing. So I think I'm gonna put the alternator back in it today and uh, make it movable again, but we definitely got a lot of investigating to figure out what's going on with this car um, and that's not the big change that i've been talking about we are looking into something pretty drastic um, not with the engine trans or supercharger but with engine management we are looking into some options there so definitely be on the lookout for some different changes coming to that um, but i'm really just just trying to figure out this car and be able to enjoy it the way I wanted to enjoy it. Some of you guys said I want to see you out racing stick shift classes. I have no plan of doing that. This car is a heavy 4,000 pound stick car without a slipper and without a face plated trans. It has no chance in a competitive stick shift drag race at the track. Uh, but roll racing on the street, it definitely, definitely has a chance to be a really, really fast car. So I hope you guys are excited about a lot of the different things that are going on on the channel. The giveaway is helping to support some of that stuff, although we are basically breaking even on selling the car. Basically, um, at the end of the day, we're about recouping what we would sell uh, the car for maybe even less. We still have tax to pay for. We still have a lot of different uh, costs involved in the giveaway. Uh, so I can't really give you guys any good numbers or good feedback on that yet. But uh, if you do want to go support the channel and get a chance to win a cool car and get some cool merchandise, definitely go down in the description and get entered to win that. So I hope that fills you guys in on a few things that are going on with the channel. Um, I have been crazy busy and uh, yeah, so in terms of the giveaway ending, uh, we are gonna be picking a winner. We will call that winner and then we will post the video afterwards. It is a long process of getting all the data in from uh, the different orders, verifying for accuracy and picking the winner and verifying the winner for accuracy as well. Uh, but we should have everything wrapped up by the 19th. So we will keep you guys updated on the end of the giveaway and the winner. And then uh, obviously we'll be transporting the car or someone will fly in and pick it up and drive it home. Whatever we end up working out, uh, we will keep you guys informed. So anyway guys, make sure you slap the like button down below. Please do that and we will see you guys in the next one.